YouTube, it's your boy Wayne6578, and I'm here with the DD Gaming Crew. I'm here with my boy Superboxer0909, and I'm also here with Dairy Pro. And today we'll be talking about YouTube offensive and defensive coordinators. And I'm gonna let my boy Dairy Pro break down what we mean by YouTube offensive and defensive coordinators. So hit it up, Dairy. All right, now what we talking about offensive de defensive coordinators on YouTube? We talking about when somebody posts a tip video and they give you all this explanation, what they're talking about, what they can do. You know, when you leave, when you leave the flats open and all that stuff, like how you can expose the play and stuff like that. And you know, just reckless times. You know, people either hate on your video or they just telling you about your tip. So, uh, to me, I just think. You know, everything goes different in the game situation rather than everybody looking in practice mode. Because if I'm third and 25 and I leave the flats open, you know, it's all good to me because I want you to gain. Yeah, I want you to gain 25 yards with your running back. But in some critical situations, I kind of still want the flats to be open so you can just throw to it since I know where you're throwing the ball. Exactly. And some people, some people really don't look at the flats and. That's where some people do actually beat me and some people don't beat me. They don't take the short stuff. They try to go for the long run. They try to go for the juggler. Yep. I, I totally agree with you, man. I love it when you put a, uh, a defensive blitz up, man, and you say, hey, man, this is a great blitz for third, third and long, fourth and long. And then you'll get a comment on your video saying, hey, man, you left that running back open. The running back is open, like you said, D, on the flat. I'm like, like you said, I want to see this guy gain 15 yards with a running back when I got a chance to stop him from doing that. But the pass ain't going to be opening. And then you only got so many seconds to get the pass off. But you got these people that come out here and they, they just want to be the one person to pick out what's wrong. You know, it can be a great blitz. It can be a great offensive play, but they want to be the person. Oh, man, dude. You you would have to only do this type of catch to to beat me, you know. You couldn't beat me with that route you're running, that money play. That would not work against my defense. Okay, that's you, man. This is not just for you. You might be an elite Madden player, or you might suck. You never know. But it's just people that do that, man. It's like, come on, dude. Just, man, it's, just it's, watch the video, also, like it, and go about your business. Tell us about like people who think we're only gonna run that one play the whole game. Every game, I mean, yeah. And we're not going to run that whole play the whole game. We're just showing you when the situation occurs and when we need that you play, need it. we're yes. going to use it. We're not going to spam the play, you know, over and over and over again, of course, you know. And yeah, then also, so and if you're you're up there in Madden, you know when you're in a game, you adjust. Mm -hmm. Same same like anything else. You have to adjust to your opponent. You have seen what your opponent's tendencies are. you exactly. got to adjust. Exactly. If you don't adjust, you deserve to lose the game. Yo, you wouldn't run that blitz on me. No, I'm not going to run it on you every time. The first time I run it on you, it's going to get you. And the first time I run it on you, I'm going to need to get you. Yep. So I'm not going to run it all game. Of course, if, if a dude is blitzing you all game, what you going to do the third time he do it? I'm just going to block everybody. I don't care. But yeah, so I, it's just, I don't know, man. Some of that stuff that they do, it's like, dude, come on, man. You ain't got nothing better to do. <laughs> coming but obviously sometimes I, I kind of I do kind of like people kind of pointing out the obvious but then mm -hmm. they play you and then they like oh the flat covered so where am I going to throw to and then they sack <laughs> like see B I kind of like universal blisses or mm -hmm. things or like symmetrical blisses so where I can show the right side and show the left side and mm -hmm. you see some way it's not coming and then the other way it's coming see I kind of like those blisses but mm -hmm. they kind of they kind of somehow took it out of the game, somehow didn't take it out of the game. But, you know, it's just what people do. I'm more of a defensive player, so a lot of offensive people come and tell me, you know, the flats open. And I kind of I kind of like to leave the flats open, like I said. But, you know, it's just the kind of person you play if, to if, me. If you guys ever watch my videos, man, and when I lab with uh, Black Chaos, my saying is fuck the flats. I really don't care what you do in the flats until you get in the red zone. I don't yeah. care. You can eat me up in the flats 
from the 20 to the 20, man. But once you pass that 20, them flats are going to be gone. Well, this year, everybody and their mom runs the 46 cover three drop. I mean, that's all you see online. Oh, I thought you were talking about fire zone three. three. No, fire zone three, cover three drop. That's yeah. all you see online. The fire zone are the 46, okay. I mean, and what they do is they have the Seahawks or they have the 49ers and they they, they let you have the flats and everything because they depend on their opponent, you know, their their team's hit power mm-hmm. to make you fumble the ball. So if you're going to throw it to the flats, they have a chance of hitting you big, you know, causing the fumble. Making the fumble, yep. And make, giving that turnover. And that's what a lot of people depend on when they're playing this year. Yeah. But. I totally agree, man. And on me on that, and I'm I'm not gonna say I'm the best offensive player because I'm really not like I don't tell you. You're not the best. Like I don't I don't like throwing I don't like throwing the football. Take you through, but I I will spread you out. (laughs) What's that tattoo you got? I'm the best in math. (laughs) Uh, What was that? But I'm saying as in. Usually, I like to see what people run on defense. In the fire zone three, it caught me one time because I didn't know, you know, how to stop it. And I was a second half type of person and sometimes mad 15 because I would be down 324. And, you know, I'd come back in the second half and watch mm-hmm. my, my you opponent didn't adjust, did you what didn't he did. what this guy got to do, man. It's- and that's what most... That's where most people from, you know, like ebooks and, you know, people with users and disguising people, you know, where that comes from. And you're not going to find that in, you know, you know, every tip video or every mm-hmm. people got to put like extra stuff in it. And yeah, and, it, and then you got the minor adjustments, man. You can everybody run in cover three sky out of three, four bear. OK, but it's this one guy that runs it. Where he puts hybrid defense out there, he got man and zone, totally different from what you didn't see. And you come out there and after that little, I hope they take that off in sixteen. When the play is over with, they pop up and they show you, this is the play he called. I hope they yeah. take that off, man. But that you see that you're like, oh man, he ran the cover three sky, but that thing is nothing like the cover three sky. It's sometimes good and it's sometimes yeah. Bad. There, there's no good that comes out of that unless if you're because- on defense. And that guy knows what you're running on defense. There's no good. If you're on offense and that guy knew what you ran, it's no good. Because eventually that guy's gonna learn, remember. You learn something new every time you play somebody else. But also that means you know Madden will get repetitive. Yeah. And taking that off, Madden, everybody would be kind of original until they played someone. And that's kind of what I like, kind of what I don't like sometimes. Well, the one way how to counter that though is to come out in your defense, but then you got your you got your your audibles. So if yeah. you call that audible, it does not show your audible that you called. On the play oh, you, it. you call it, it shows the play that you originally. See, I don't did. know about that super box. Or you could know. Honey. I'm I'm almost positive that it calls the play that when they hike the ball, whichever formation that was, it shows. I'm almost positive about that. It'll show, I guess it'll show the formation, but like when I audible. Yeah, it don't show your audible. It don't show your hot routes and stuff. No, it don't show that. But say I was still in a cover three. Yeah, if you were in a cover three, cover three sky out of three, four bear, and you did your audibles and did all this setup and stuff, made everybody in man and everything, it's still gonna come out and say that he was in his own cover three zone. No, well, I'm not talking about like actually leaving the cover three zone. I'm talking about. Once you're in the cover three zone and you get to where you're lining up and everything, you go mm-hmm. to your audibles and call a different defense and your your defense adjustment. Oh, you talking about actually? So they're looking at okay, they see actually, you in the cover. Not hot, I see what you're it's saying. Not okay. like defensive assignments. Okay, where, you know, actually changing the play. So oh yeah, you could two, do that. Yeah, it won't show that you had you ran a cover two. It'll show that you had a cover three originally. Okay. So then you, your opponent will think, hey, he's in cover three, and then bam, you go into cover two, and then you, you can get him. It's, it's That's a game, man. It's all about tricking and being like making it not look like what you're gonna do. You know, making it look like you're gonna do something, do something else. That's all it is, man. Baiting, baiting is acting like you, you going somewhere else and then come back and like, hey, you thought I was going there, didn't you? You know. What I've noticed though is this game, like in the fourth quarter, if you're down by one touchdown, fourth quarter you will fumble. When they hit you, you <laughs> will. F- Madden is gonna give you a chance. I mean, seriously. I mean, <laughs> You yeah, will fumble. I, I, I kind of feel I feel the momentum factor sometimes, and our like how your team take over. But yeah. have you have you guys ever seen this though? If it's ever the end of the game, 
And I do play with Brandon Marshall a lot. And Megatron. But if it's the end of the game, like less than a minute left, and you throw a bomb, it's a good 65% to 75% that you're going to catch it. I don't care catch, who's yeah. guarding you, dude. It's at the end of the game. Like I, At the end of the half, yep. I'm like, dude, I'm going to throw this bomb to Marshall. I got 70 yards to go. And Marshall will catch that ball, dude. I'm like, he, he didn't drop every ball up to that point. But it's like at the end of the game, end of They're the quarter, they let you do that, especially at halftime or the end of the game. It's like Madden, like, all right, let's let's make this game exciting. Yeah, make it exciting. <laughs> We're going to hit this animation. Come yeah, on, just, yeah. Ah, let's boost up his catcher rate. Whoever yeah. he throws to, let's put 10 more points on it. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. But yeah, it's just funny the way people come and write stuff on your videos to point out the obvious. And sometimes you even say the obvious. You say, hey, man, you know, this blitz, it leaves the flats open. This dude, like, I'll murder you in the flats. You're leaving the flats open. I'm like, did, you listen to did you listen? Did you just listen to the video, man? I said so the flats are going to be open. And sometimes I kind of catch myself before, like, I watch a tip video, like, I'm not really going to say, like, the obvious, you know, where you <laughs> leave something open. And then also, there's like it's it's different versions to everybody's tip, so you know I can't say really somebody stole that tip, or they probably got it off of somebody else online and yeah. just showed it right there. Like I can't really say somebody else stole their tips unless, well, I can't even say that person's name unless but, you um, were watching that guy look at the yeah. tip and write down yeah, notes. Just, you know, you don't know. Hey, he might not even watch the guy that you think he stole it from, right? So, yeah, yeah. man, it's. It is what it is, but you're not the best, Derry. I thought you were the best. Oh, you know, Randy Orton's a legend killer. You know, Derry's the Madden killer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know if you turn Madden around, it'll say there's an elite player named Derry Pro on the back of your Madden. I don't know. Turn it around. Take some commentators and give them the RKO when it's over. There's OK people and then there's Derry. <laughs> but anyway guys man thanks a lot for tuning in for another D&D talk uh, we hope we gave you guys some entertainment like we always aim to do man uh, I'm gonna sign out thanks for watching guys you guys can do whatever <laughs>